Right, guys. Hello, another video for you all. The Walking Dead, Saints and Sinners, the Aftershocks DLC. We're now episode seven. Last episode was Memorial Lane. I called it War Zone because that's what it was. That was kind of frantic. Um, we've made our way back to the bus. So we are going to have a slight overlap here with the end of the last episode. We know we're going to be burgled when we get back to the bus. Uh, so it's only going to be a few minutes. And I'll have caught up with myself and uh, everything will be new again. Remember, I'm playing this through for the first time. I hear noises. See them doing a runner. Those bastards raided my workbench. They've made off towards the jazz park. I need to find out how this happened. Pursue the intruders through the catacombs. So we're just heading to the bus quickly. You can see we've got a lot of our equipment still. Our crate has been raided. No salvage left. So what we'll do, we'll unburden ourselves, empty the backpack. I really wish I'd filled this and followed my own advice. Never leave without a full backpack. But we've got these boxes of stuff. Lots of gunpowder, lots of workable metal, nuts and bolts. A shotgun frame. Pistols there. Get rid of our memento, the code book. Did a fair bit of fighting at Memorial Lane. I took some damage, so let's have some bandages. Ah. Right. That's not in great state. Up on the wall. Take a fresh pistol. AR can go on the backpack. I'll take my sword. I'm going to cut them so they know they're dead. Right, let's hunt these bastards down. Nobody steals from me. Take the skull because we get gunpowder for that. So we know we're going to get jumped as we try to come out. Covered that in the last episode. Got the trip wire there. Under the trip wire. These rifle frames. I investigate the jazz park for the cause of the intrusion. I know it's the jazz park, there's the statues of the jazz musicians. Here's Mel the Exile. Forest, that you? Oh, you took care of those jackals pretty quick. Don't think the others will be back anytime soon. Who are you? Me? <laughs> well, I I'm nobody. Well, my name's Mel, but I I'm nobody important. Just a scavenger who thought he could score big. I was following a tower patrol who got word of one of those reserve stockpiles washed up around here. You know, trying to pick up their scraps. They ran into some reclaimed who were after the same thing. I expected the shooting to start any second, so I hid behind those statues back there. Only it never started. They came to some kind of agreement. Tower and reclaimed, can you believe that? You've got my attention. I know, right? Strange times. 
If the higher-ups caught wind of what happened here, those fools would all be executed. They had a common enemy to unite them. You. Oh, you should have heard them talking. The way you've been scooping up those reserve caches really pissed them off. Guess they put their differences aside so they could stick it to you. One of the reclaimed had the bright idea after he stumbled on your camp. He, uh... What did he do? You mean you haven't seen it yet? Oh, they stole all your scrap, tourist. Took some of it with them to Via Corolla, stashed some of it nearby for later. I think they said something about moving coffins? Look, I, I better run. Gotta find something to eat before the night is up. It was nice meeting you at all, tourist. Oh, and uh, I uh, found this. Guess you'll be needing it since you're not dead and all. I took a little sip. Hope you don't mind. I do mind. You stole it. Travel to the entrance of the graveyard and find stolen supplies. Right, those of you judging me too harshly, always remember Omri's dying wish. Save the girls if you can. Everybody else can drown, they can die. They're all scum. I try to keep Omri's dying wishes. So, fun fact, I do have a sword at home. It's a Chinese straight sword for Tai Chi. It has a tassel off the end of it. I don't have a katana, but I'm actually quite used to handling a blade. Just so you know. Right, so we're now caught up with ourselves. I have no idea what's going to happen next. Really, where I should be going. Travel to the entrance of the graveyard. Right, so that's the church. Let's shut off. I said moving coffins. Archery range. All right, my flask isn't back. So they obviously don't want me to leave here just yet. Let's unburden ourselves. We'll move on. Run 
fine slice. Some coffins here. Take these cans for scrap. Check for air first. see anything so we'll go down here it's a coffin This is the entrance to the graveyard. Oh, that's not going to trigger. Sesame. Right, was he one of the, the thieves? Yes, he was. Remnants of the reserve. So that's gone into my backpack. Wants to travel to Via Corolla.
So there's the bus. Can I put that back in there? Have a sip and start a new day. Ah. <sighs> Can't craft a jambalaya because we don't have enough stuff. Not really sure how we're supposed to get that back into my stores. Perhaps we need to finish via Corolla first. So let's just unburden ourselves. I need to do a loadout check. I'm happy. We've got the sword, got a couple of pistols, got the AR. And we've got the bow. So we will just book it to Via Corolla. Look for the star. There it is. It's telling me piercing the skull requires a broad range of motion. It does not require extremely fast movement. Useful tips. Showdown. Retrieve stolen crafting materials from the reclaimed. Retrieve stolen crafting materials from the tower. Oh, they're going to shoot me on sight. State, but I do love a shotgun. We'll keep our black light on. Watch for tower guards. Cash. Box of stuff. Propane tank it is. The area. Oh, couldn't get it up and over. Did 
definitely need to practice with a bow. Come on, break. We'd have some arrows stuck in the wall as well, which we do. seem to group up for me to use the bow. stuff. Scanning the area. Hi, 
Okay, so that will go into my backpack. Take the memento as well. I do. Propane tank to blow me up. Going out the front door, probably not the best idea, as we know there's guards out there, but let's see what happens. Another guy down here. Reload. Could deal with the propane tanks, but as we've got some on this way, we'll take them out. Lever action again. So I've got the two golden lions. Expect this house to be heavily defended. Now, 
one. Trip mine, propane tank. Open sesame. Tripwires. Oh, didn't mean to eject that. Propane tank. I think that's a dead end. safe was for the claws. There's ammo, it was worth the climb. Puzzle piece. These letters, they don't really spell out words, so there must be some kind of cipher to figure out what they are. It's in the code. It's a trip wire behind the door because that would have been super sneaky. Oh, might as well just go in through the front door. Upstairs.
Right, there's our stuff. Good stuff. It's one way to make an entrance. there as well. Let's get rid of these frames. So right, that key's going to go in the backpack. to the rest in place. Sure, we've got a skiff down that way. Yep. Hear voices. Rest in place, back to the bus. Supplies get more scarce, listen to frequency 47 and pursue medical food and weapons caches or extra loot events. And these tips are all done before aftershocks. We're now more focused on what we're doing, having these uh, reserve caches to look for. I'm really enjoying it actually. Showdown. Find a use for the mysterious key. Well, we'll save that for another episode. 
I'll just head back to the bus and cash in. So much stuff. We've got our mementos as well. So I think what I should do is get rid of this handle sticks and the trophies so the flag was the first thing we found and it was the ring Medals up. Bus always gets messed up every time I come back. It's like raccoons let themselves in. There's my code book. There we go. We can leave that on the desk. That'll do. So we'll leave it there, guys. Have a great day. Have a great evening, whatever it is you choose to do after watching this. And as always, I'll see you when I see you next. Ciao for now.